Logan Paul has finally responded to YouTuber CoffeeZilla's three-part video series in which he investigated Logan Paul's crypto game called CryptoZoo, a game where a ton of fans of Logan's lost a lot of money and it seemed as if Logan had basically abandoned the project entirely because it was a fail. It all went down last year, but CoffeeZilla just recently in the past couple of weeks posted his video series investigating the entire thing. CoffeeZilla, whose name is Steven, accused Logan of scamming his fans by making a ton of promises when promoting this crypto game he created, and he claimed that this was something that he was confident in, it was going to make people passive income, it was going to be really fun to play. It's so fun, it provides a yield with a token, can earn you money, and uh, as a person who understands, I think, the NFT space enough to know what works, what people want, and what they're looking for, I think my game is going to make uh, make some waves. Steven ended up interviewing fans who invested in this and lost money, as well as the project developer and people on the Crypto Zoo team. He received alleged group chat text message screenshots showing conversations between Logan and his team, and the text made Logan look very, very bad. I mean, they made the whole team look bad, but this looks really bad on Logan because he promoted this to a large group of people, all of his fans, people that trusted in him. And this all went completely downhill to the point where Logan stopped speaking out about it. And the only thing that he said was that the developer ran away with the code. There was nothing he can do. The developer is holding it hostage for a million dollars. And that was that. He never spoke about it again until now. So Logan is finally responding to Steven saying that he is going to sue Steven for defamation and criticized his research on all of this. I suggest you use the money you got from pumping your Patreon to hire a good lawyer. You're gonna need it. But Logan trying to make Steven look bad only made himself look worse because Logan has been silent on all of crypto zoo problems for a long time now. And people who invested just feel betrayed by him at this point. They supported him and trusted in him. And a lot of them lost out on a ton of money because of this project and because it was completely abandoned, it seemed. It wasn't until Steven made this series and called Logan out that it feels like Logan is finally responding to this whole situation. His defense was in a video titled My Response to CoffeeZilla's Scam Allegations. He claimed that he hired criminals to help him create CryptoZoo and that information wasn't included in Steven's video. Which honestly, that just makes Logan look bad for trusting in people with a record to work on a project like this. And yeah, he was kind of calling himself out about that, but I mean, Come on, Logan, like, you know, that only makes you look bad, honestly. Because he's like, well, you guys are trusting information that Steven is giving you because he's interviewing the developer, he's interviewing a person that was on the Crypto Zoo team, and they're criminals, so you shouldn't be trusting them. Okay, Logan, but you trusted them to literally work with them on this and then have your fans also trust in them. Like, what? Coffee, you interviewed the developer who stole the game code, fled to Switzerland, and held it hostage for a million dollars. Well, his name is Zach Kelling. Surely, as the internet detective that you proclaim to be, you would know that he spent time in prison for multiple felonies, one for aggravated robbery, armed robbery at a liquor store, and the other for, surprise, obstructing the legal process. I can see why you kept him anonymous. What type of idiot would work with an unsavory individual like Zach Kelling? I guess that's what I get for trusting the team that I relied on to vet and manage Eddie's hiring process, who has turned out to be a professional con man that I have since learned fooled billionaires, the Mormon church, the owner of the New York Yankees, and now me. He then claimed that Steven is wrong in that CryptoZoo is a completely abandoned project. And he says that's not true because he's actually making the announcement right now that CryptoZoo is a work in progress and he will continue to work on it. And even includes at the end of the video, Coming 2023-24. Like, get real. <laughs> Logan also judges the people that Steven interviewed in the video, saying it was ridiculous that one guy let his kid invest in CryptoZoo. Like, yeah, the guy is ridiculous for letting his kid invest in CryptoZoo, but who was the one promoting it to kids? You. Emilio, the gentleman who supposedly let his child invest in a cryptocurrency. Kids are addicted to it. Our developers' kids, all of them cannot stop playing the game and it's interesting because we've definitely created like a viral fun uh interactive game for 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 kids uh they're all bothering their dads and moms about about the th can we hatch the eggs yet can we hatch the eggs 
He basically pushed blame to everyone but himself and also claimed that Steven never tried to reach out to him directly for an interview and only reached out to his manager and found that ridiculous. Maybe we could have talked about this if you had reached out to me personally, not my manager, Jeff, who is not me, me, Steven. But the first time you did was on Christmas Eve after you released your series so you could rely on false statements and unreliable people used recklessly. The subject line was third request for comment. Yeah, not quite. This will be my third time reaching out to you and your team. The first two times were through your manager, Jeff. Like, Logan, we know you're hard to reach. You're an influencer with millions of followers. Anyone is going to have a hard time to get through to reaching you on your phone and getting a response from you. That's why a lot of people go through your manager to contact you unless they know you personally and know you're going to message them back. Steven bit back to this part that Logan had to say about him never having reached out, and he brought those screenshots. He said, Logan Paul responded, zero apologies, zero addressing victims, zero accountability. I will reply in full when I organize my thoughts. But for now, Logan accuses me of not reaching out to him directly until December 24th, 2022. But doesn't mention I reached out over a year prior on Instagram. And you can see October First, 2021, he said, Hey Logan, I've been trying to reach people from the Crypto Zoo team to get comment on the emerging story that the devs for this project haven't been paid. I have two really good sources saying they have not been paid by Crypto Zoo, that in fact no devs have been paid. In fact, that V3 was an attempt to blacklist some of the wallets from people who invested their own money into Crypto Zoo. I like a response from the Crypto Zoo team within 24 hours. He goes on to say it was only after not getting a response from him that I began calling his manager Jeff for answers about the Crypto Zoo developers and got comically stupid responses. Logan then replied to this tweet saying, if you expect me to see every DM that comes through from every social media gossip channel trying to make a name for themselves, you're ridiculous. And like I said in my email, and he highlights this part, you scrub the blockchain for a living and somehow managed to text my personal phone number yesterday. I can't imagine you didn't know slash have my professional email. CoffeeZilla responded and said, no, I don't expect you to see every DM, which is why I reached out to your manager and explicitly said I was trying to reach you because I hadn't gotten a response. Logan's really reaching on this one. And he attached a screenshot of his messages with Logan's manager, Jeff, that says, hi, Jeff, I'm reaching out for a comment on CryptoZoo, which I'm doing a story on. I like to speak to you and Logan as soon as possible since I have so many people telling me you guys scammed them. Would like everyone's side of the story. This is Steven, creator of CoffeeZilla. Please let Logan know I'd like to speak to him. It's hard to reach him as you know. Logan also tried to say in his video that Steven included a unapproved recorded phone call between his manager Jeff and Steven and that his manager did not say that he could be recorded, but Steven put it in his video anyway. Surely a real internet detective would not break criminal and civil laws in trying to get information, right? So why have you allowed the illegal recording of Jeff's phone call without his permission? And then more like an internet criminal, post it online. But I mean, Logan is so pressed on proving whether or not Steven tried to reach out to him and whether or not Steven is a good person, whether or not Steven did this for the right reasons. And I mean, regardless of any of that, who really cares? Like at the end of the day, the story that was told and the story that got through to people is that a lot of people lost out on money because of Logan and whether or not Steven ever tried to reach out to Logan, that doesn't even matter when it comes to Crypto Zoo not being what Logan promised to his fans. At the end of the day, he worked with really bad people and it ended up losing him and his fans money. And people really wish that he had just taken accountability for that. Fans were not happy with what they were hearing, especially because Logan knew there was a lot of hype surrounding his response. And a lot of people were going to be watching his video and instead of just like dropping the video, he took like all day to promote his energy drink with KSI. He was posting on every single form of social media that he had by prime, prime energy drink, all this stuff before he finally dropped his video. Like he knew all these eyes were on him and he was going to be taking advantage of that, which is like, yeah, great marketing, but that doesn't make you look good when the video that is really hyped is not a good situation. People clearly saw right through Logan in this video and called him out saying, you literally took zero accountability for the people who lost their money because of this app. Telling us that your ex coworkers are criminals is a great way to show who you are. It's a shame that he doesn't even admit his mistakes. 
I like how he made his case worse by revealing the criminal backgrounds of his own workers. I love the fact that he blames CoffeeZilla for not vetting the criminals he hired. 12 months of silence, he was the only person that managed to get a word out of your mouth. Steven took to Twitter to talk more about his feelings in regards to Logan's response and said, this is hardly important with all the insane lies on Logan Paul's new video, but did he really say he was going to sue me and also say he'd love to host me on Impulsive? LMAO, it's a trap. That ain't a podcast invite, bro. He also said, fear not crypto zoo holders who spent millions in 2021. The basic game might be delivered in 2023, 24, and definitely not because I made a video series about it. I mean, it really is ridiculous. He's suddenly like, oh, Steven, you're wrong. Crypto zoo will still be a thing. Like, come on. <laughs> you never probably would have said a word if you weren't called out. There's just like been no explanation to your silence and the timing that you're saying it's actually going to come out in like the next two years is so suspicious. People are super annoyed hearing Logan not own up, especially after these last few years of seemingly redeeming his image and people starting to like him again. This response is very disappointing without that accountability being taken. So I certainly want to know if you guys have been following along with the story. How did you guys feel about Logan's response? If you guys have been paying attention to what's going on, let me know in the comments below. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys.